Just like a power clean, when we want to come out of our hips and explode at the hips, it's the same thing with a drive blocker. So if we want to get vertical movement, you'll hear me talk over and over again. Come out of your hips and then be violent with your hands. You'll see this young man here again. Great hips, great hands, and he's violent. Great hips coming out of there, rocking and rolling. Again, you'll see it full speed here, coming out of his hips, rocking and rolling. That's exactly what we're looking for when we're getting off the football. So you got to train these guys to come out of their hips, come out of their hips, come out of their hips, and develop and, 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 and the hips that you want first, and then you want to have good forceful blows at the point of attack. One leg explosion. With our one-leg explosion, we want to uh, come from an uncomfortable position as an offensive lineman. This young man here, he's 6'8", 335 pounds. He's a big man. And to see him come from one knee, which is an uncomfortable position for most of us big guys, we want to see how fast they come out of their hips and get on a block, whether you can do this versus the air or you can do it versus a defender holding the bag. In this case, we're working zone left. So he's going to have his right knee on the ground, and he's going to come out of his hips as quick as he can come out of his hips and get on his block. Again, making uncomfortable feel comfortable. All right, great job by this young man. You'll see him there going left on the zone block, going left. Right, on this next clip here, you'll see him going right. All right, so he has he's at, he's actually got his left leg off the ground. He's going right. So again, like I say, this is a big man. He's going to push. He's going to drive at a 45-degree angle, coming off the ball, short, choppy steps, wide base. Great job by this young man. Leverage drill. Very important drill when you're talking about EDDs, everyday drills. You have to have great leverage. It's just like I tell guys all the time, even when I speak at clinics, man, you got to, it's a game of leverage. The offensive lineman, he wants his hands in inside and wants to be lower than the defensive lineman. And the defensive lineman, he wants his hands inside and he wants to be lower than the offensive lineman. So what we're trying to do is gain leverage and, and maintain leverage at the point of attack. So we teach this drill here. We straddle the lineman on the boards. We start with from a fit, uh, hands inside for the offensive guy first. And then every whistle on the boards to maintain a good balance and good base, I want the offensive linemen to switch their hands and gain leverage on the defender. So again, we're going to start with this young man to your left, uh, already from a fit, flat back, ready to rock and roll, and, and every whistle. I'm going to get him off the ball. He's going to start with his drive. Then when I blow the whistle, the next young man is going to transition his hand, get his hands inside, fork lift, great fit, great hips, hands, blow the whistle, get back inside, blow the whistle, get back inside, hands inside, short, choppy steps, wide base. Not a bad job. All right, the next two young men. These are big men here. All right, this young man has a flat back. He's ready to rock and roll. He wants to come out of his hips first to start on the block. You're talking about two young men. The man is already in the fit. He's 6'4", 335 pounds. The guy he's going with is 6'8", 335 pounds. So he's a big man. So you want to get those guys bending at their knees, put Z in their knee, coming off the ball, Maintaining leverage, trying to get leverage at the point of attack, and then keeping the leverage. All right, again, notice he's coming out of his hips. Next young man, get his hands inside. I want to happen quicker. Get back, hands back inside quicker. Get leverage back. Short, choppy steps all the way through the board. Now, this is when you really see it. As these young men right here, these are two uh, big men that are in the shoots, and I have the shoots kind of low. So, again, my objective is to make uncomfortable feel comfortable. They don't like to bend. All right, but you got to make them bend when you're in your ED drills and get them in uncomfortable situations. So now, again, we're creatures of habit. If we're doing this over and over and over and over and over again, they get used to bending. These, this is a 6'6", 325-pound left uh, uh, man on the left side, and we have another 6'3", 305-pound guy on the right side. And I have the shoots quite low. So to see those guys in uncomfortable position with their fit, maintaining leverage, and again, it's uncomfortable, but I want it to feel comfortable. Not a bad job by these two young men. Departure angles and man block techniques. We'll start with uh, base blocks, i.e. drive blocks. Also, we'll try with our inside zone departure angles, our outside zone departure angles, a calf tap drill, which is the backside of the outside zone, and also our down blocks. Base drive blocks. 
All right, right here, you'll see our young men here uh, working uh, our base block. All right, well, we want to stay with our inside foot, treat these both of these young men as right side guys. So we're going to base, we're going to drive block the defender. And again, the whole key to the d deal is to get a quick six inch step up the field, not to the side, but up the field. And uh, when you want to get your cleats in the ground ASAP. All right, so the biggest thing we want to do here is a couple quick six inch steps. All right. Shooting your hands on the first step, but right now we're just working our steps, so we want to make sure we're six inch first. Then we're going to bring our second step. Now, the key to the deal, we want to get that second step in the ground with some urgency as soon as possible. Get in the ground, pick it up, put it down. Get your hands on the defender, pick it up, put it down. Then we always finish through with a short, choppy steps all the way through the board. But again, one, two here, getting the second step in the ground, getting your cleats in the ground ASAP with some urgency, a sense of urgency at the point of attack. Now, we'll come through next with, again, we'll start with six inch. You'll watch the young man here to the right. He's treat these guys, again, as right side guys. He's going to step with his left foot. Well, in this case, he'll step with his right foot because he's a left side guy in this case. Uh, he'll step with his foot straight up field, straight up field, shooting his hands at the first step. Then we're going to come one, two. He's going to get his second step in the ground with some urgency, a couple one, twos. Then we're going to follow through short, choppy steps, wide base. Good job by these young men. Inside zone departure angles. We'll start first with, with our, our tea towels. All right? You know, a lot of guys use tea boards, but I believe in the, the towel drill because with your towels, again, it's an inexpensive tool. You want to give these guys great uh, landmarks to be able to work their footwork because regardless of what, man, let's make sure we don't get it twisted. You got to have great departure angles in order to get on your block. If your departure angle is bad, nine times out of ten, you're not going to be able to get on the block. So we teach great footwork, great departure angles. And with these towel drills, it gives our young men a landmark to be able to step. Again, we teach big toe, pinky toe on our inside zone departure angle. So again, I have the tiles crossed at a T. So he wants to go big toe, pinky toe on an angled tile. And he wants to get foot in the ground. Cleats in the ground, six inch step, open up his hips, head outside, body inside. The next phase of the block is to get the second step upfield uh, on the defender, and I want to get it on his inside foot. All right, the key to getting the second step down and getting it aiming at the defender's inside foot. So if that defender rocks back inside, say for instance, in this case, a five technique tries to cross the face of his right tackle here and cross back inside, we can stop him at the point of attack because we're trying to step on his inside foot. Technically, you won't step on his foot, but you want to take the departure angle and step on his foot and you want to get the second step upfield. The reason why you want to get it upfield because you're trying to get vertical movement at the point of attack. So it's very, very important that we get that second step upfield and rocking and rolling. All right, so again, good departure angle, second step up field, and always finish through with a great follow through and aggressive shove at the end. Great rep by this young man. Again, big toe, pinky toe, second step up field. All right, good job. Then we want to go follow through, follow through, finish through with an aggressive shove at the end of the block. Great job by that young man. All right, you'll see a different angle, same drill. We want to emphasize hat outside, body inside. Notice, we want to take that inside arm and throw the defender at an angle. Now, in the past, I've taken that inside arm and deliver with a flipper. And you still can do that. All you do with the flipper is just a hitting surface for guys that may have not very strong offense alignment. You want to have a great hitting surface, and then you transition your hand to what you see here in this picture anyway. This young man here has been in the program going into his fifth year. He's been with me. He understands the flipper, but now we're going to transition now He's stronger, he's bigger. Now he can really de uh, develop where he can use his inside hand and really try to twerk that guy at the point of attack to drive that defender at a 45 degree angle. So again, good rep, big toe, pinky toe, second step up field. Then we always want to finish through with an aggressive shove. All right, you see this young man here, another guy that's been in the program. All right, good departure angle, uh, big toe, pinky toe, departure angle on the tee tiles. All right, he take a couple of those, then we're going to go one, two. He's going to get a second step upfield, inside arm. Notice with the inside arm. With inside arm stronger, we want to throw that defender at a 45-degree angle, short, choppy steps as we finish through. So, again, head outside, body inside. All right, big toe, piggy toe, short, choppy step, Z in his knee. Notice, again, watch the Z in his knee. This is a big man here. 